Hey guys, it's December 10th and today we're talking about the big guns. Yesterday we were talking about small mics and today we're talking about the bigger brothers. Welcome to 24 days of commercialism. As I mentioned yesterday, I'm not only a Canon fangirl, I'm also a Rode fangirl. Those are all Rode mics. One, they're really awesome and two, the customer service is amazing. For example, my NTG2 here was broken. I sent it in and they basically replaced it instantly. I think the warranty is five years up to ten years depending on which mic you're choosing, plus you have to register it. But it all comes in the package, so don't worry. I want to talk about the different mics you can use, depending on what type of videos you're doing. For example, if you're doing a podcast, this would be a good one. It's the Brocaster, not Bro. <laughs> I actually was talking to Mike and he's like, yo, yo, and I'm like, no. Procaster. This is a good mic. I was looking into that for work because we have a lot of voiceover stuff and we wanted to do some podcasts and so on. So this seemed to be the best solution. So I have that at work. I don't have it here right now, so I can't show it to you. But if you're interested, just check out the vlogging channel. It's on there. Number two. This is a shotgun mic, which I'm also using at work, but this is my mic. I love it. It's perfect if you do interviews outside, indoors, it doesn't matter because it's directed to the person talking. It picks up the person, not the surrounding. Like a point and shoot, this is a point and pick up. You can use it like this, indoors, like it is. If you do interviews, I would definitely put this on. And for outdoors, you can use this. It is fandom powered, which means it needs extra energy. There's a battery in there. But if you have a camera, for example, a bigger camcorder, say my bro camcorder, you should be able to hook it up. If you have a DSLR, you might want to look into, for example, a Zoom. I will talk about that in the upcoming videos. The last mic I want to talk about today is the NT1. It's a very popular mic. Nathan had it and this is yours. It's basically a studio mic, I would say. So if you're a singer or also good for podcasts, this is it. You have to have a pop stopper in front because this is a very sensitive mic. It will pick up everything, not like this, which picks up the front, but this picks up everything. That's why I picked this for work because we have air conditioning going on, people walking by and so on and so on. That's why I picked that over this mic. Otherwise, I probably would have gone for this mic too. If you have further questions, please leave them in the comments. I can't go into detail, otherwise we would talk for hours and hours. But if you want to know some specific things, you can also click the links in the description. They will lead you to the Amazon site. We're not sponsored by Amazon, but if you buy over our links, we get a certain percentage of the sales, which helps us out. It's not much, but it's a tiny bit. That's it for today. I have to clean up everything now because I'm super tired. I'm going to bed now and I see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Oh, and if you want to check out the other videos from the other days, click here. There are the small mics. And what I did, what did I do before that? I can't remember, just click. <laughs>